Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So less than 10 days ago, Microsoft rolled out their latest version of the Power Toys utility app, version 0 0.70. And as you can see, we have already received our first patch release just a couple of days later, bumping that up to 70.1. Now, there are no new toys uh, in this latest patch release, but it is important because it does address um, various bugs and issues um, since upgrading to version 70 and also brings a couple of improvements. Now, um, the majority of the fixes um, are for the two new toys that did roll out uh, in this latest release, which I did post on um, uh, about 10 days ago, and I'll leave a link to that video down below. But the two new toys that rolled out previously were Mouse Without Borders, which is a quick and easy way to move your cursor across multiple devices, and Peak which is a quick and easy way to preview files. And as mentioned, go check that video out as it will give you more info regarding those two new toys. Now, focusing mainly on the improvements that have rolled out for Peak and Mouse Without Borders. And uh, um, first of all, um, just to mention these, um, Microsoft say that they have rolled out UX improvements in the Peak and Mouse Without Borders settings pages. So that's in the actual settings pages of the actual toys. And Peak and Mouse Without Borders Apparently, um, there was a process crash in Event Viewer. And uh, now Microsoft says that should now be reported co correctly on bug reports. So that's a bit of a crash fix that they have addressed between Peak and Mouse Without Borders. Now, just focusing on Peak, um, a couple of improvements that have rolled out for Peak. Um, uh, the Peak windows can now be closed using the Escape key. So when you actually use it, uh, you'll be able to hit Escape and that will actually close that preview window. And they've also created a setting for peak to always run not elevated. And yeah, we can see that setting. Always run not elevated even when Power Toys is elevated, which is turned on by default. And it says, tries to run peak without elevated permissions to fix access to network shares. You need to disable and re-enable peak for changes to this value to take effect. So just take note of that. So that's a bit of an improvement rolling out there. And they also fixed a playback notification that would stick when using Peak. And then Peak now also tries to appear on the same monitor as the File Explorer window that triggers it. And there's also a um, performance improvement where they've reduced Peak memory usage and possible leaks. So that's a bit of a performance uh, boost. And they've added a setting to close the Peak window after it loses focus. And yeah, you can see they've added this down below, which is off by default. So if you want to enable it, just toggle this feature on. It says automatically close the Peak window after it loses focus. So those are a couple of extra improvements that have rolled out um, to the um, Peak uh, preview feature now available as mentioned in Power Toys. Now focusing on um, Mouse Without Borders, just to mention two uh, improvements that have really rolled out to this feature and uh, they fixed an issue that was causing um, it to prevent other connected machines from going to sleep and they also fixed a bug causing mouse without borders to click a window on the correct machine when switching to another machine and as mentioned there are plenty other fixes but those are mainly some of the key highlights that I think um, you would find more um, kind of um, useful for the purpose of today's video and just letting you know about that and as mentioned power toys version 0.70.1 now available and if you don't know what power toys is basically it's a set of utilities um, that just um, makes uh, using your windows a little bit better and brings more product productivity tools into windows 10 and windows 11 and it's available for download for both operating systems from the microsoft store in case you were unaware so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one